Sadhguru. What is this? Okay. I just wanted to ask, it's like the determination is firm, it's tortured. There's nothing which breaks it. The body is ready for it. But sometimes an incomplete longing from past, the confrontation of that, makes that moment very painful. It does not waver. It does not waver what has to be done. That moment becomes extremely painful. There is acknowledgement that it's foolish, it's meaningless, yet it's painful. So how to be able to disidentify with that meaninglessness? The difference between you and an earth one, which is right here beneath you right now, is just that you can remember almost your entire life and using that information you can project and create what you consider as future. What you and almost every human being is suffering is what is causing pain to them, what is their misery, what is their suffering is just this. These two fundamental faculties which set you apart from every other creature, these two faculties are of memory and imagination. So when you say something from the past comes and grabs me and I suffer, past is not suffering, you cannot suffer the past because it does not exist. Nobody can suffer that which does not exist. What you're suffering is your faculty of memory. What happened ten years ago, you can suffer. What may happen day after tomorrow, you can already suffer. This means, this does not mean that you're suffering an yesterday or a tomorrow, that's out of question. What you're suffering is your memory and your imagination. If we take away half your brain, I think you'll do quite fine. <laughs> what you're asking for is an evolutionary downgrade. If I made you at least a monkey, if not an earthworm, you would be quite happy. Kitch, 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 kitch. <laughs> Today you got the mango. Yesterday what happened? You're not bothered. So essentially you're asking for an evolutionary downgrade. Tell me how much we need to turn you back, accordingly that much of your brain will have remote. We have doctors in ashram, you know. <laughs> if we downgrade you in an evolutionary scale, you can't remember what happened yesterday, you have no bother about tomorrow because you can't imagine what is tomorrow, maybe you will be quite peaceful and happy. But what's the point? You have definitely removed a problem, but you have removed all possibilities. That's a crime. Isn't it a crime? You took away all possibilities. That's a crime, isn't it? So, <clears throat> this is all human beings are suffering. They're suffering their memory, they're suffering their imagination, nothing else. You heard the ghost story? You must have. Hmm? Yes. So don't fight with your own ghosts because they're your ghosts, at least enjoy the horror movie. <laughs> These all ghosts made up in your mind, at least learn to enjoy them. When you remember something melancholic, feel like a Shakespeare that you're writing a tragic drama, Enjoy it. We have enjoyed Shakespeare, haven't we? <laughs> Not everything is good about it. Nothing good happened to anybody there. <laughs> oh, Sadhguru, that was somebody else. I enjoyed it so much. This is me. <laughs> that is my yoga, so that you don't know which is me and which is somebody else. Union means just that. You don't know which is me and which is somebody. <laughs> <laughs>